Hey YouTube, it's PD Two Finger, and I gotta try to make this quick. All right, I'm not making any excuses for myself. I bought two pieces of gear. Uh, I got an interface that was used. It was thirty bucks, but I had some tax and some shipping. It came out to be about fifty. Then we got a pair of fifty dollars studio monitors. Uh, the other thing is I discovered a much better Mellotron VST than what I had and used last year. And uh, so all of this coming together now, just after I had finished and released Semantical Nightmare, uh, today the new interface arrived. I was ready to go. I had torn the other one out. Here's the other one. I had ripped this one out and uh, popped the new one in, plugged everything in. I had like made this custom cables to make the uh, TRS connections on the studio monitors jive with this unbalanced piece of shit. Can you believe it? Look at all the features on this. And then they put unbalanced only outputs on it. Like, they didn't even give you two. Like, what is that? Even on the much cheaper M-Audio interfaces that don't have anything, they just have two, four jacks on the back, one set of ins and one outs, those are have balanced. So they, I think they really did that so people would buy this. They would go, oh, I don't need that $500 one. Let me get the $200 one. Get that one. And then eventually they realize, I, I got to have the balanced outputs. You know, it's a studio. What the, what the fuck? So, yeah, I don't want to get too carried away. But the long and the short of it is the new interface came. It's an M-Audio Pro Line, Pro Fire, Pro something 610. Now, I know you're going to turn your nose up and call me all kinds of three-letter words, begin with an F and end with a G, for buying another M-Audio interface. It was 30 bucks. And the one that I bought is like the only legitimately professional, like good piece of gear M-Audio has ever had. People love the 610. Now they claim there's some weird latency uh, where the tracks don't really line up. I don't know about that. I don't know. If I run into it, I'll get a, uh, whatchamacallit. I'll go, I, I can, uh, I can, if all of a sudden my stuff starts sounding funny, you know, and it's not lining up, I don't know, I, I, uh, I went and, and remixed some stuff today and everything was fine. If I run into that, I'll go and purchase a, uh, a PreSonus. There's some PreSonus stuff that it doesn't, the, the driver isn't compatible with Windows 10. That's how you get a good deal on one of these. You buy one that's at the end of its life cycle. I happen to end up with this just a mint. Uh, Profire 610 is what I have. So, yes. Recently, I've been turned on to this Mellotron thing, which... The only issue with that is like that some of the sounds are really familiar. Like, oh man, that's Moody Blues, Knights in White Satin. That's David Bowie. This is King Crimson. Like these sounds are just so iconic. But I don't mind using them, especially if you if they're not if you've got a song that has like, you know, a dozen or more tracks playing at that same time and you've got it kind of low in the mix it's not going to be like oh you're trying to sound like you know that song but uh the point i'm getting at is this is really out of character so please be nice but i'm i'm gonna remix this this album and the reasons I'm doing that are, number one, I'm hearing stuff in the mix that's bothering me. Stuff that I can fix by adjusting the mix. And then stuff that I can fix by recording some new parts. Now, specifically, 
I'm on this Mellotron kick, which I completely screwed the pooch. Last year, I used it. And this year, it didn't get installed on the PC that I built. And I didn't, it didn't, I, I, I just was overwhelmed with all this other stuff. And I never, but hey, dummy, you know, install that Mellotron VST because you're going to use the shit out of it. You know, this is like the honeymoon phase with the Mellotron is going to be now. On this mix of this album, I'm going to add Mellotron to some of the tracks. Uh, and, you know, there's going to, there's some areas where I'm hearing, oh, that needs a rhythm guitar. Specifically, track two, the chorus of Ticking needs a day tripper sounding guitar. Would fit great. So, set your calendar, mark your watch. Coming up soon is going to be the mellow mixes of Semantic Nightmare. If you gifted or got copies of MP3s, I will be doing another uh, Dropbox. So, if you're looking for those, I can get them to you. Uh, more than likely, I might even just link those up there. So, the Mellow Mixes are coming. Uh, hopefully, they will uh, sound better. <laughs> and then I got this. What am I going to do with this? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on this computer here. That way, when I'm uh, reclining and, and doing my demos that I normally do, where I have to go and get this Korg Pandora and hook up all these other cables. Well, I could just maybe have this in the front and just come right out of one of my multi-effectors. I think I actually have it all wired up already. I just have to find the one uh, copy of the wire and plug it in. And that'll, that's like a clone of the line out or something like I split some and taped them together. I don't know. I don't know. It seemed, seemed to me I had it hooked up at one time, even running through this. And, and then I took that apart and moved it over there. Because I think I did, I, I used this on this computer. I did, uh, what's the name of that song? Rain Out. I did Rain Out and Pilfer, two songs I'm really proud of with that setup. So that's what I got going on. Um, at this point, like I am really, um, not like teetering on the prep, para, the, what do you call it? Parapet, pre precipice of uh, complete nervous breakdown, but I'm, 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 uh, waiting for spring to come <laughs> i've had enough being locked in the house so hopefully uh this getting back to work on some music will help take the edge off of that and i hope whatever you've got going on and wherever you are that you're staying healthy mentally because this is just the worst time of year it really is so thank you for everything everyone who's been so generous with their time to email me to contact me there's people and people who've been gifting me and that's enabled me to uh, come through and upgrade this stuff and all that love and support that you guys show me it means so much to me i cannot tell you how that's enriched my life and how proud i am of my work because i've tried to share it here and i ran into some people who who got it who got what i did and they've given me the support and I just want to be thankful and I want to have that positive spirit because I know I complain a lot. <laughs> I've always, I'm always on this thing bitching and moaning about something. All right, you guys, this was a huge red letter day. I got a new interface. I, I was uh, playing Mellotron tracks on this song. It's called Scorn. And man, it sounds great. So I got to check that mix out. I'm probably going to watch some Gordon Ramsay. Eat a big steaming piping hot bowl of chili and hit the sack. You guys take care of yourselves. Hug your pets. And peace. <laughs>